Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and last night we got some news about the new box art for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, uh, yesterday Charlie Intel posted the article announcing the news, so full credit goes to them, but they said that retailers have now updated their stores with the new box art image, and if you guys want to go check it out, it's on screen right now for every game console, along with the cover art for the Legacy Edition, and uh, as you can see, it's the same image that's on the E3 poster, but if you guys remember, I posted on Twitter, and I even said in a video that I like this image a lot better, and I could definitely see it becoming the new cover art, so... I am pretty happy that it's changed and I was reading some of the comments on the Infinite Warfare Reddit and they seem to like this cover art a lot better but I still am kind of curious to know their exact reason behind the change because it's kind of rare to see a game change their box art after they announced the main image. Um, one of my friends told me that this happened to a game called Bioshock or Borderlands, one of those few games, I forgot which one he said, but something like this has happened before and really when I first heard the news I was a little shocked because I've been playing video games for about six years now and in that time I've never heard of a video game change their box art after they revealed the main concept art for the game but I guess that's because I don't really play any other video game besides Call of Duty but um, I don't know I could be making this a lot bigger than it should be but I don't know now I want to talk to you guys about whether or not I think there's going to be a beta for Infinite Warfare and that first one I heard the multiplayer reveal is going to be in September I thought that there's not going to be a beta because uh, you know it's going to be so late and I don't think Infinity Ward would do a beta so late because school starts as well but after thinking about it a bit more you know COD XP can't just be the only place for people to get their hands on the game like if you go there you're probably guaranteed like one to three games if that and then you got to give the controller to someone else and that's not really a lot of time to get a full hands-on experience of the game and also a beta is probably the reason why Black Ops 3 did so well and pretty much a beta would be a direct way for us to communicate with the developers to uh, let them know what needs to be fixed for example the black hat which was insanely overpowered in the beta or like any kind of glitches or bugs what we think can make the game better etc so there you guys have it I thought I should cover this because it was a pretty late announcement when Charlie Intel revealed the new cover art for the game and uh, right now there's a lot of hype around the new black market items and blackjack so um yeah in case you guys missed it i thought i should talk about this for you guys but let me know your thoughts about the new cover art down in the comments and also tell me what you guys think about a beta for infinite warfare do you guys think it should be coming or not uh, again let me know your thoughts also drop a like if you guys did enjoy thank you for watching i'm averts have a good rest of the day till next time i'll catch you guys later